Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I love potatoes, do you? I just adore potatoes. Today I'm cooking a Spanish potato dish. No, not patatas bravas. It's smoked paprika and garlic potatoes cooked on the stove top in about 20 minutes. Introduced to me by my daughter's Spanish grandmother. We're going to need a yellowy waxy spud. Yukon gold in the States, I would say is great. In the UK, we've got Charlotte or Golden King. We're also going to need some rather good olive oil, extra version if you have it, a knob of butter, some fresh garlic minced up, oregano, rosemary, and some smoked paprika. We're also going to need a deep frying pan with a matching lid because this dish involves steaming as well as stir frying. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. And as I mentioned before, it only takes 20 minutes on the stovetop. So, shall we get cracking? So I'm going to pop my olive oil into the pan, along with a knob of butter. All the measurements and quantities will be in the description below, don't forget. Once they're all sizzly, we're going to throw in our potatoes. If you think of a small apple and cut it in half, that's the size potato we need. I'm also going to put in an onion that I've cut into four. And I'm seasoning at the beginning because I want the flavours to evolve as we cook the dish. Okay, we're going to stir fry the spuds now for about three minutes. That's stage one of the dish. We're going to do this over a medium high flame. They're going to start to get slightly marked on the outside. That's what we want. We want to cook the outside of our big chunky vegetables. Once you've given that three minutes, we can then go on to stage two, which is add the paprika, oregano and rosemary. And we need to stir fry that over a medium high flame for another three minutes. The objective of this stage is to evenly distribute all the flavours of our herbs and our spices amongst our ingredients. And the smell in the kitchen is quite simply wonderful. The smell of smoked paprika and the herbs and the olive oil. Well, my kitchen smells like Spain. Amazing. And now we're going to pop the lid on because we're into stage three. Lid on, turn the flame right down to low for about three minutes. And then stage four is to stir fry the contents for two minutes. And you'll notice that they're starting to brown on the outside. We're starting to get a little bit of a crust on the edges of our potatoes. So once you've stir fried that for a couple of minutes over a medium low flame, you can pop the lid back on for another three more minutes and this time turn that flame right down to low. Okay, three minutes have gone past to take the lid off. Let's have a little prod of those potatoes. Let's see if they're starting to cook and they are starting to cook and they're starting to get nice and beautiful on the outside too. They're probably almost cooked actually. I'm saying they're probably two thirds of the way there. We're going to stir fry them for a couple of minutes. Really looking wonderful now. And then we're going to add the garlic. Once we've given them a couple of minutes around with the spatula, let's throw that wonderful minced garlic in. Can't put the garlic in too early because it'll burn and it'll change the whole complexion of the dish. Add the garlic in, stir fry it for a further one minute, tossing everything around. Get that garlic nicely spread out. And once you've given that a minute, we can then Pop the lid back on for the final leg. And at this point, I can't get the guy to stop playing with the potatoes. Here we are. Put the lid on for a final three minutes on a low flame. Turn it right down to a low flame. Lid on, three minutes. Take it off. It's pretty much cooked at this stage. You'll see that the knife is effortlessly gliding into the potato. And at this point, you need to decide this probably depends on the variety of potato you're using. I cut my potato in half to see exactly how soft it was. It wasn't quite as fluffy as I wanted it to be. But at the same time, I didn't want to cook my garlic or my herbs anymore. So the only thing I did at this stage, I popped the lid back on, turned the heat right off and left it alone for five minutes to cook in the residual heat. And frankly, after that, it was perfect. If you use your own variety of potatoes, there are certain things you're going to have to make a judgment on. But that is a fantastic potato dish, I promise you. 
And there it is. It's prepared. I'm drizzling a little bit of oil on the plate with the potatoes. It looks fabulous. This is classic bistro food. Wonderful Spanish style smoked paprika and garlic potatoes. I can't tell you how good this is. Once you start eating these, I promise you, you won't be able to stop. Whew, that was a hell of a potato dish. Hey everyone, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Then there's the possibility you could share with your friends, tell them about the uh, food revolution going on with Archie Pie. Hit the like button, that's just amazing. And I'd love to hear what you have to say about this dish. If you cook it and enjoy it, drop me a line. Drop me a line if you cook it and don't enjoy it. I'm going to get stuck in. I'll see you guys all very, very soon.